Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video was a very, very highly requested video and it's taken me a lot of time to like decide that I'm gonna sit down and actually do it for you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you guys know when I post new videos. Smash the video with a big thumbs up and comment below to start a conversation with me. If you guys want to know the story of me getting pregnant on next one on then just keep on watching today's video i'm going to be talking about my birth control so the birth control i was on was called the next one on if you guys don't know what that is it's a little implant that it's like a bar shaped implant that goes on your arm this is the arm i had it on i'm going to insert pictures either here on the screen somewhere of what my scar looks like now let me give you guys a little rundown of the process of getting it put on was i decided to get on the birth control right after i had my daughter my son and my daughter are very very close apart and i was a very young mom i got pregnant with my son when i was 18 so i was still basically a teen um and then i got pregnant with my daughter very 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 shortly after i had her actually 14 months later i decided to go on the birth control i didn't want to have any more kids at that point i did not want any more kids like i had my two and i was like you know what i'm fine with two i don't want to have any more so i was like let's try a different birth control i didn't want to get on the depot just because i had heard a lot of people getting pregnant on the depot so i did not want the shot so i was like okay let's try a different birth control so i went ahead and talked to the doctor and he recommended the next one on at the time when i got the next one on it was still being tested as to how long someone can have it for they told me that it was three or four years but to be on the safe side we're going to keep it on for the three years then i would go back and then they would take it out and then put another one if i wanted to go ahead and do it again the way that they talked about the next one on to me was that because i was breastfeeding my daughter and she was premature so i was really really big on like you know having a birth control that was safe to have while breastfeeding i decided on the next one because from talking to my doctor he said that was one of the best options since i was breastfeeding so then i went ahead and did that they scheduled my appointment literally like a week later it was really really fast i was really scared because i when i went into the room there was like a little like a silver little plate looking thing and it had like a little the little incision things on it it had the actual bar and but that was like in a little plastic and then um, it had like the numbing stuff so I was really scared I was like oh my god what the hell am I getting myself into he went ahead and asked me what arm I use the least are you right handed or are you left handed like I'm right handed so like okay we're gonna go ahead and put it in your left hand and I was like okay sounds good they went ahead and numbed it they put like this little orange liquid like that I don't know if you guys know which I'm talking about like that burnt orange looking one they put it on there I didn't feel anything when they went ahead and input it I did feel it actually go inside but like the actual like little incision and stuff I did not feel at all it was a really it was actually a really really positive experience I did not have any pain I had seen pictures of people like bruising really badly when they got got it put in and thankfully I did fast forward it was working great I it was now what like almost three years and I did not have any sort of even pregnancy scare that, and I had heard a lot of people saying that they had like really bad experiences with this birth control because they experienced a lot of side effects. The only side effect I was experiencing was weight gain and honestly to tell you the truth I can't even sit here and be like oh yeah next plan make me gain weight because it didn't because you know what I good and if you guys follow me on Instagram and have been following me on Snapchat and have been following me on here you guys know that's like one of the things we do the most we go out to eat and we pig out and I eat good so I couldn't blame the birth control so honestly I don't I don't think I had any negative side effects to like I don't think it was all good experience it wasn't until like August where I started feeling kind of weird I was having kind of like migraines and you know what I I had had migraines before I've had migraines since I was in high school but they had kind of stopped so I was kind of getting them every day but it had been so long and I just didn't understand what was going on and I remember that I started having migraines when I got pregnant with my son so then I was like what the heck like what's going on I actually made an appointment with my doctor um, and the first thing you they do when you go to the doctor you know they ask if there's any chance you can be pregnant and I said no because I'm on birth control but they still went ahead and made me pee in a cup and it came back negative and they're like you're fine so then I came home and that was it I still feeling really weird like I didn't feel sick um, and then also 
because I was on the next blood on, I never, ever, 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 ever had a period the whole time that I was on the birth control. I know a lot of people say that their period literally never stopped since getting on the birth control. Well, I never had a period and I, I liked it. But then this is when it became a bad thing because since I wasn't getting my period, I didn't know if there was something wrong or something happening to me, you know? And in this case, there was. I had already gone to the doctor. I had... I was negative for a pregnancy test so then they tested me for like UTIs and all that and they're like you're fine so then I was like okay I came home that was it maybe like two weeks later when I went to go pee there was a little bit of blood and I wasn't used to that and it kind of hurt when I peed so I was like okay I remember with my son I had gotten a UTI so then I was like okay this is really weird I started feeling like okay I think I'm pregnant but I had tested negative so what's going on so then I sent my dad to go buy me a pregnancy test he bought me the pregnancy test I took it here at home and it was negative so then I was like what's going on you know time went by because I was like you know what I'm not pregnant maybe it's just my head who knows what's going on I actually started feeling like the little butterfly kicks that you start feeling really really early on I remember when I was pregnant with my son I never felt these but with my daughter I did and when I talked to the doctor about it they told me that it's because you kind of know what they feel like now so you feel them a little earlier I started feeling them so then I was like what the heck what's going on so then I scheduled an appointment with the doctor that I had with my daughter because that doctor has an actual ultrasound machine inside the clinic so there is no need for them to like send me off or for me to have an appointment so because with my daughter i was also testing negative i wasn't i was also testing negative for that pregnancy when i told her that she sent me straight into the room and she did an ultrasound and lord and behold there was isla so i went to that same doctor and the same thing happened they took a pee test it came out negative then i told her what was going on i went into the room and i went into the room and that's when they told me that i was pregnant i don't know <sighs> Honestly, to tell you guys the truth, I don't know if I was happy or if I was worried or if I was sad or if I was scared or if I was all of them, to be honest with you. Because if you guys know, you know, Zyla requires a lot, a lot of my attention and I am a mom and I am human. So even when it comes to Zyla and my son, sometimes I feel really, really bad for my son because Zyla requires so much of my attention and I'm, I'm always at so many meetings and doctor's appointments with Zyla that I don't pay as much attention as I would want to to my son. I don't do as much as I want to with him. So I felt really, really scared. And I didn't know if I would be able to handle it. And I was just, I was very worried. I was also worried because there was this whole time that they were telling me that I wasn't pregnant and I was. Thankfully, I had gone kind of like on a drinking splurge. Kind of right after Fidel's birthday, which was in March. But then I stopped right after my birthday, was what on was which which was on July. So thankfully, I literally stopped drinking. I don't even know why. I don't know if it was like my head. I I don't know. And it was really weird because I stopped when they told me that. I was like, well, how far along am I? And they told me that I was. This was around December. They told me that I was already. I believe 12 weeks when I went in. They had told me that I was possibly around 12 weeks because they were going by the measurements only. And you know how sometimes some babies measure smaller, some babies measure bigger. So they were just going by that because they couldn't go by my period because I had, I was on birth control and I wasn't getting a period. They asked me if I wanted to know like a gender. I was already around 12 weeks and they can give me what they believe they saw and I said no I need to talk to Fidel. Yeah, I, I came home and I told Fidel and Fidel was just really scared and you know we have two kids and we're out all the time with them and kids are a blessing and we both think that but we felt like it wasn't the right time we have so many plans like of what to do and by what year we want to be at certain places and we just felt like this was going to kind of hold us back even more and it just wasn't the right time but we decided you know like it is what it is i was on birth control and we did what we could do to prevent it and it happened so since it happened you know it must have happened for a reason so we're gonna take it and it's a blessing and that's that i got really really sick like super 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 sick i don't know there's a vlog on here that i almost went to the er but the baby's okay that was the last vlog where i was actually pregnant i got really sick i thought it was a cold because i was i had like um boogers and i had a cough and I, that's what I thought it was there was so much more going on with my body and I should have known just because you know you know your body and usually when I have a cough or I have a 
a fl even the flu like it doesn't knock me out that much to the point where I'm just in bed and I didn't listen to my body and I let it pass I didn't take any medicine that day just because you know I knew I was pregnant so I didn't want to take anything to harm the baby um the next morning I woke up and I went to the bathroom and I was bleeding and um It's just still really hard to talk about and I don't want to cry about it anymore. So it was a lot of blood. It wasn't like a drop. It wasn't like I wiped and there was blood. No, like there was a lot of blood. It was like on my legs and it was in between my legs and I just, I I knew already and I scheduled an appointment to the, with the doctor. I went with the kids somewhere around the area while I went into the doctor. They basically told me that there was no more heartbeat. At this point, I was already about 16 weeks. And when I did announce my pregnancy, I didn't want to tell you guys how far along I was, any of that. Because I kind of wanted it to be like a surprise. I was already so far along. So I kind of just wanted to pop out one day and be like, surprise, here's the baby. But things work in... S things are just so crazy, you know? It's, it's crazy how things work. They told me there was no heartbeat. And they asked me if I wanted to see if my body would reject the pregnancy on its own and just do what it needed to do. Or if I wanted to get a DNC or if I wanted to go into labor. And basically if neither of the first two worked, I would have to go into labor. I decided to see if my body would pass it on its own. They gave me that day and then the next day and then I went back in and that's when they told me I needed to have a DNC. If I wanted more answers, they recommended for me to go into labor. That way they can send the baby to get tested and see what went wrong. But I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to have to have a C-section and have no baby, you know? Both of my kids were C-sections and I, I just couldn't do that and I couldn't see. I didn't want to see. I did ask though when all this happened that because I was keeping the gender a surprise for myself and for my family and everybody. I didn't want this to be like a sad video. I wanted it to be an informational video, but it's just really hard to talk about. I just, I just wanted to move on and I wanted to mourn. And it's really hard to mourn if you're still on, on that situation. So I decided to get the DNC. I went ahead and got that and it was a really quick procedure. I didn't feel any pain that day. I did feel a little cramping, but that was it. Um, I did bleed that day and then that was it. I didn't have any side effects from the birth control like I told you guys earlier, but once I had the DNC and there was no longer a baby, that is when everything just started going wrong. I would have migraines every day. I, would, I was cramping every day. Sometimes when I pee, there's blood, even though I'm not on my period. I've already went to the doctor. There's nothing wrong with me. I already, my hair is like thinning out. It's not just thinning out, but it's becoming very, very dry. I'm breaking out in my skin. You guys don't see it, but I'm wearing makeup. And even when I'm not wearing makeup, sometimes, sometimes you guys can see little like parts that I've been picking at. My anxiety is off the roof. I was diagnosed with depression after I had my daughter and I just feel like it's gotten so much worse and I don't know if it's the situation or I don't know what's going on but it's just been really hard and I just feel like I'm still dealing with the side effects from the birth control now. I'm not gaining weight. I haven't gained any weight. I have dropped a few pounds but that's because I'm not pregnant anymore so I'm dropping the pounds from the I'm dropping the weight from the pregnancy. Also I don't know I don't know if this has anything to do with it but I've noticed that my eyes are not as white as they were before like they're kind of like yellowish and I started googling stuff and it says that there's a lot of other people who are experiencing experiencing these things and honestly I don't think these side effects that I'm having now compared to losing my baby. The thing is that the, the birth control that I was on releases hormones and since I was on the birth control and I wasn't getting a period and it had already been months since I had found out I was pregnant, so many of those hormones were being released to the baby and that could have played a big factor in it. My doctor told me and he just, you know, he was like, you're young, it's fine, you know, just recover get your body back in shape and you're really young but honestly you guys 
I wanted that BB. It's just so easy to be like, okay, well, you can get pregnant again. And it's just like, I don't want to anymore. I don't want to potentially go through this again. When I was in high school, I got pregnant and I lost my baby very, very far along as well. And so this is the second time I've gone through this, but this is the first time where, you know, I'm married and it's just something that, I had already told my kids they were excited for it. The other day, Zyla was telling my mom that I have a baby in my stomach, and it was just. It was like the most heartbreaking thing ever, and I don't want to go through it again, and I don't want to put my kids through it again, and. I don't, I don't want to do this again. A few of you asked me if I'm going to try to have another baby and the truth is no I'm not. I'm not going to try. I'm not going to be on birth control. I feel like birth control messed me up so bad and it's still messing me up. I'm still going through everything that I talked to you guys about and the only thing I can do is wait. I don't want to put my body through that again. As in having another baby, no that's not going to happen. I have Zyla and I have Gabriel and I'm fine with them. We have put in some paperwork to see if Fidel qualified to get a visectomy and he doesn't qualify yet because he's very young but next year we can get like um we would have to go talk to the doctor and give our reasons why and if it's you know legit reasons he qualifies for it at 26 so that's next year we're gonna go ahead and go with that i'm really sorry if this video was all over the place i didn't really sit down and like jot down my note like jot down some notes and say what i want to talk about so if you guys want me to explain certain things a little more and if it's not like too much that you guys want me to explain i can comment it down below i'll go ahead and respond to your comment um if you guys have me on instagram if if you guys have gone through the same thing i've gone through let me know in the comment section down below i hope that nobody goes through what i've gone through and if you guys have know that you're not alone it's very tough and it sucks but when you know that you're not alone it makes things a little easier and a little more bearable so yeah guys that's it i hope you guys not enjoyed me talking about this because it's a very depressing video and I tried not to make it sad and I tried but it's just really hard. Another question that I got asked as well was how was I mourning and honestly guys I don't know how I'm doing it. I don't. I feel like all my emotions are kind of let out when I shower in the shower you know that way Zyla doesn't see me and he and Matias doesn't see me but I don't know how I'm doing it to like right now i started crying when i talked about it i it's still really hard for me and it's even harder you know when i go out and i see people with newborn babies and it's just really heartbreaking because that should have been me in a few months i just keep reminding myself that things happen for a reason and even though the reasons may be very questionable and it doesn't make sense it's happening for a reason and i can't question god's plan i just can't He's blessed me in so many ways and Gabriel and Zyla are living proof like I can't question his plan so I don't know how I'm mourning because I don't I don't know how I'm dealing with it because I I I'm, I don't feel like I'm dealing with it in a very positive way I don't feel like I'm this superwoman who's just dealing with stuff because I'm not I take the kids out and I do I live like life day to day but because I kind of have no option I can just lay down and cry like I want to I Sometimes I don't want to wake up and I can't because I have to take the kids to school. I have to pick them up from school. I have to make them lunch. I don't I don't have time to do... I don't have time to sit and think about things and I just can't. So that's the way it's going right now. But thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Give the video a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.